Good morning, Air DBF family. So, when I left you last week, pulled the top end off of this 1979 YZ80 and uh, discovered, yeah, it's probably not in the best of shape. So, on today's agenda here in the DBF garage, we're going to pull the motor out of the chassis, split the cases, and uh, pull the crank out of it so we can ship it all off to Dave and have him machine and rebuild the crank on this thing so when the new parts get back, we can reinstall it in the cleaned up cases and throw it back in the chassis and it'll be brand new again. So let's get going. Yeah, it's been a while since that chain's been off of there. It looks as if a little rusty. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, look at that master link. Yep, I might be cutting this chain. Not a big loss, it's pretty rusty. When you've asked nice the first time and it doesn't want to go, you bust out the O-chain brake and you make it go. Perfection. Well, look who we got here. Jay showed up. Hey, all. He's over here mounting a set of uh, wheels and tires wheels and for tires. a buddy. Kind of got a buddy Christmas gift type deal. This is a buddy of his. One of my, one of my good contractor friends has a boy. He got him wheels and tires for Christmas. So he asked if I'd mount them, and I said absolutely. Yeah. So we figured we better get her done today, seeing as Christmas is pretty close. Yeah. Like tomorrow so you know no reason to rush into anything yeah, you know i mean we still had today yeah <laughs> i'm pretty sure that that's not a factory part right there <laughs> looks like it's been you know chewed off by a beaver look at that I don't think that's factory Yamaha. Oh, yeah, somebody, that's definitely not a factory Yamaha weld. Somebody did a little die grinder action on that bad boy, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is because that's how it mounts. Something's been cut off there yeah, excessively. Been cut off. I bet that broke off at one point looking at those welds. Yeah, or something, something like that. That's a custom made piece. While Jace is over there playing tire mounting man, I'm over here trying to get these uh, bolts out of the side cover so I can access the clutch and the clutch cable. But on these old bikes, they're all Phillips head screws. An impact driver is your friend, but they don't always work. When they've been messed up for a while and they're already rounded off, it's not good. Let me show you what I'm talking about. That's what they're supposed to look like. That's what that one looks like. So to fix that, I'm probably going to have to drill the end of the head off of that and then extract it once I get the cover off. But we'll get the rest of them out with this and then do some drilling. Oh, the rest of them are coming out all right. Ah, that little fella right there is just going to be difficult. Wow, oh, that's gross. Yes, interesting. Got the head of that off, got the cover off. It'll actually just spin out by hand. Just like that. Okay. Go ahead, pull the cover off and uh, undo the clutch cable. But yeah, this is way different than any Honda I've ever worked on, but that's all right, we'll figure it out. Good news is, I've got a repair manual coming for this thing, so it'll kind of help take the guesswork out of it when we go back together, hopefully. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's grody. A little nasty. 
It's a really nasty nice, yeah. down in there. It's a Ain't real certain how that works. Been sitting for a moment. Oh yeah. Interesting. The joys of working on vintage dirt bike stuff. Looks like the chains come off at some point and wadded up behind the case and actually broke the outer case. So that's just one more thing I'm gonna have to buy for this thing. But that's all right. I mean, what do you expect for a dang near 45 year old bike? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the ignition off of this thing, set it out of the way, and then we'll pull the rest of the bolts out and uh, see if we can get her spread. Interesting. Looks like the uh, flywheel needs to come off before the stator does. So, interesting. This is new territory for me, not a Honda. <laughs> it's all right. We're learning together, aren't we? Ooh, that's nice. Oh, what are the chances of me having a puller for that are? Probably slim to none. Fantastic. Oh yeah, no way. Well, darn it. I guess uh, I guess I'm ordering a new flywheel puller because that's way too big. Okay, we'll pull the motor mounts out and set this thing on the table. Come on, lift up out of there, little feller. Persuade it. Get my leverage equalizer out here. Persuade it a little more. Like. See? I knew you'd go if I just talked nice to you. Thanks, little feller. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I go. While I'm waiting for a couple of people to get back to me to see if they actually have a flywheel puller for the YZ80, I need your guys' help. I need you to help me decide what project is next and which ones are going to be finished next or in a priority. Because this one, this is going to take some time to find parts for it. Uh, like I thought before, they're going to be hard to find. But that being said, I need to know out of all these projects right here, and I'll show you which ones we have up on deck, what projects you guys are dying to see finished because I've got a bunch of them that are started and not completed and they've kind of piled up on me. So I need your help to tell me which ones you want to see next. So let's review them, shall we? The first project I need your guys' opinion on, on what's next, is a 1978 Honda Z50. Now, We've already worked on this thing a little bit. We went through, I did some rough body repair work on the front and the rear fender, put new tires on it, got it running, changed out the handlebars. What's left is to disassemble the entire bike, rebuild the motor and do paint and body and reassemble. So that's the first project that I need your guys' opinion on. Let's see what else is next. Up next on the list is my 1987 CR500 project. Now, this is one of my more recent projects and it seems to be doing pretty good with the viewers. People seem to like it. But, the plan for this thing all along was to clean it up and just do a halfway restoration on it for now. So, you've seen me repair the rear fender. I'm working on the plastics as we speak, the rest of it. I've done the side cover and we're just kind of tightening up mechanical and aesthetics as we go along. Um, got a few things left to do and then go for a final test ride, but to do this thing, a full restoration is gonna take a while. Okay, we're on to project number three. Now this one is honestly one of my favorite projects we've ever done, just because it's so out of the box. That's the Hot Rod Rat Rod Wagon. 
This thing has got a Chinese pit bike motor in it, a 100% made chassis here in DBF Garage with a whole bunch of Amazon parts. This thing is an absolute riot, but I found a small flaw in this thing when we went on our first test drive, and you can't keep the front tires on the ground. Yeah, I've got to stretch the frame on it just a little bit, move the rear axle back behind me to distribute the weight forward on this thing. So if that's your choice for the next project, make sure you comment down below and we'll bump it to the top of the list. Up at number four. Now I've mentioned this project in a few past videos, but haven't really done anything about it. But my plan is to take a modern XR or CRF Honda 70 dirt bike and convert it into a modern-ish, old school looking with suspension Honda ATC 70. Now the last project on the list is something you see in every single video that I've put on here for about the last two years. My motorcycle table. I built this thing about a mm, year and a half ago, almost two years ago, as a somewhat of a prototype. And I put it together and was gonna use it for a couple weeks to see if I wanted to make any changes. And to be honest with you, it's worked so well and so flawless that I have not touched this thing in that amount of time. But I think it's time to tear this thing apart, finish it, change a few minor things on it that I've decided that I want to upgrade and uh, put it back to work. So those are just a few of the projects that are up on deck in the DBF garage, but those are the ones that are just kind of lingering that are you know, started and halfway finished. We've got plenty of other projects up on deck, but I really need to get the one started, finished and out the door before I feel comfortable with moving on because the fact of it is, is I'm running out of room in this small garage here. So I need to wrap up some of these projects that are halfway tore apart, halfway started and get them completed to get me some more room. That being said, I appreciate every single one of you guys that tune in. I'm a pretty small fish in a giant YouTube pond. And uh, you know, I'm doing this out of my own pocket. The very little money, I mean the very little money I'm making off of YouTube goes right back into projects so we can build cool stuff for you guys to see. And uh, hopefully someday with your guys' help, you know, we can, uh, we can take this bigger, make it bigger and uh, take the projects to the next level. But without you guys, couldn't even be doing what I'm doing right now. So as always, I appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.